workbook and lesson to accompany this video available on Teachers Pay Teachers. Teacher in sweatpants. Why does bread rise? What is in a fire extinguisher? Why does paper burn? Why does the snow melt? These questions can be answered with chemistry. <music> chemistry is the study of matter and its changes. Matter is all around you. Take a peek around the room. Everything you can see and touch is matter. Matter is anything that has volume and mass. Matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms. Atoms are the smallest unit of matter that still have the properties of an element. Atoms can be combined in numerous ways to create just about anything. The way atoms interact with each other determines what the matter will be. An atom consists of three types of subatomic particles. Protons, neutrons, and electrons. Protons are positively charged. Neutrons are neutrally charged. Electrons are negatively charged. The atom also has a nucleus and atomic orbitals. The atom contains a nucleus in the center. It is made up of protons and neutrons. The electrons are charged up with lots of energy and whirl around the outside of the nucleus on the atomic orbitals. The amount of protons each atom contains determines what the atom is. One proton is a hydrogen atom, two protons, a helium atom, and three protons, a lithium atom. Scientists have discovered 118 different types of atoms, which we call elements. You can find these elements on the periodic table of elements. The periodic table of elements lists all of the elements in the world. They are listed in order of how many protons their nucleus has. This number is also called the atomic number. Atoms from the periodic table can bond together to make molecules. Let's use hydrogen for example. A single hydrogen atom would be attracted to another hydrogen atom because of their electrons. The hydrogen atom would join together and would share each other's electrons. Hydrogen gas is the result. Let's use oxygen for another example of atoms joining together to form molecules. The oxygen atoms would join together and would share each other's electrons. Oxygen gas is the result. Complete page 5, 6, and 7 in your Matter Workbook. Workbook and lesson to accompany this video available on Teachers Pay Teachers. Teacher in sweatpants. Check out my other videos on YouTube.